Straight up, most financial advisors, well, they can be kind of boring. Thankfully, I've recently discovered not only the music, but the advice of Atlanta-based rapper Money Man. I mean his name, it says it all. Now Money Man is someone who only isn't becoming one of the biggest rappers in the game. He's also providing sound financial advice to his many followers across social media, all while flexing a whole lot of cash. This man has been investing since day one and he knows all about making his money work for him. Now he's also at the forefront of the cryptocurrency exchange and he's been dabbling in the market since he was a teenager. Now he's become the first rapper ever to agree to a paid contract in advance for $1 million paid purely in Bitcoin. The cash in on cryptocurrency will nearly double his reported net worth, which is estimated to be around two to $3 million, according to sites like thesun.com. I know these sites out there and their net worth estimations, they're sometimes a shot in the dark, but right now that's the best we got. Now, of course, over the past few years, Money Man, he's utilized his crypto investments and all of the money he's made from music to pick up some drool-worthy purchases. I'm talking the likes of an electric blue Lambo. He's also got an entire fleet of Rolls Royces. And even when it comes to fashion, well, few rappers throw together tighter fits with more stylish brands than Money Man. Whether it's a trendy long sleeve Dior shirt or a big money chain that no doubt, well, cost them some big money bucks. Money Man never steps foot out of the house wearing the same outfit fit twice at least not as far as i could tell but the smartest thing he spent his money on was investing in his own career whether it's his own music his bitcoin investments or his growing marijuana business like his name implies money man he's making cash every second of the day so join me as we investigate his lifestyle further taking a look at his multiple revenue streams his cars his fashion and more in our latest episode of the rich life my name of course is michael mccrudden let's get into this video November of 2021, Money Man became the first rapper to agree to a contract advance in the form of Bitcoin. Now, according to his label, Empire, while well, Money Man agreed to a $1 million payout, which is easily his second largest publicized payout that I could find. Now, we do go into greater detail about this deal and has come up. It is before their famous video. We dropped that about a week ago and it did really good. You guys seem to love Money Man. Or at least you want to know who he is. Now, you might think that Money Man is perhaps taking something of a risk by agreeing to be paid for his artistic services in cryptocurrency. But the truth is, well, Money Man, he's been on crypto since as far back as 2013. I was one of the first artists to pioneer um, cryptocurrency into rap, into the rap space. So... For the last, I say, three or four years, I've been slowly integrating it into the hip hop community, trying to make people aware, give them awareness to invest in it. Now at that point, Money Man, he was still struggling to make a name for himself as an Atlanta-based rapper, and he was definitely earning more from his side activities hustling on the street, which he would then turn around and invest back into the crypto market. When Money Man first bought into Bitcoin, he spent around $300, and he says by that the time he cashed out on that initial investment, well, he'd already made $18,000 or roughly 60 times the amount he put in. Now, Money Man got into the crypto market at the right time by being an early adopter of technologies of all types. Now, he started off by using tools like a Tor browser to anonymize all of his web traffic, and then through the dark website, The Silk Road. From there, he was introduced to the possibilities that cryptocurrencies were about to provide. In fact, he told Pitchfork, criminals usually get the new technology first. You've got to look at what they're doing because it's usually ahead of the curve. Over the years since, Money Man has claimed to have earned a further $100,000 from multiple investments. We're talking Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Pontcoin. That was a healthy chunk of change as that is. Well, it's nowhere near the $1 million threshold that he recently received. Now, if you're watching this video wondering how many Bitcoins are in a million, well, the answer is probably gonna surprise you because based on today's evaluation of the market, well, each coin is worth around $68,000, which means that Money Man's $1 million Bitcoin contract, well, it works out to around 15 Bitcoins. I guess when you put it that way, it doesn't seem as big, but uh, well, that ain't stopping Money Man from dreaming big. Now, for someone as ambitious as he is, the traditional means of becoming an entrepreneur, well, they're just not as appealing. In fact, he told Pitchfork, owning barber shops and car washes, that's slow money to me. It's just not enough for profit potential. In crypto, if you got in early enough, you could hit big. 
And by signing this new contract with Empire, well, Money Man, he's proven to be a man of his convictions, and I don't doubt for a second that he's made the right decision. Now, of course, the majority of us all still know Money Man primarily as a rapper, and the amount of money he's earned from his music over the years, especially recently, well, it's nothing to sneeze at. After struggling to break into the industry in the early 2010s, well, Money Man, he hustled on the streets of Atlanta, and he wound up investing all of that money he earned from his less than legal activities into not only his crypto profiles, but his music career as well. In fact, Money Man says he invested as much as $250,000 into his career before hitting it big in 2016 with songs like Boss Up and How It Feel from his Black Circle mixtape trilogy. We had to get over a lot of roadblocks because, you know, we had to run the bag up first. And then once I ran the bag up, I just put it into the music and, and it made taking off much easier because I can I can, uh, promote the music and market it and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Um, I, it was 100% independent. In the beginning, it was 100% independent and organic. And then shout out to guys, you know, uh, Empire. We, I'm going crazy with Empire right now, so. That series of mixtapes finally got Money Man's name circulating around the industry in a big way. And soon the Atlanta MC, he was signed to Cash Money Records in 2017. Now this agreement, it didn't exactly go all that well. In fact, within the span of only a year, well, Money Man, he would have to buy himself out of his contract for a quarter of a million dollars just so that he could go back to the independent route. That come out okay? I think it did. Let's keep at it. They just told me to give them um, double what they gave me. Despite the risks involved in that choice, well, at this point, Money Man, he was on too big of a roll to fail. Now, after breaking free of cash money, he'd soon meet the CEO and the founder of indie music distribution group Empire. We're talking Gazi Shami, a fellow crypto advocate. Now, these two immediately began to vibe with one another and soon Money Man, well, he was Empire's new assignee, which allowed him to remain independent while still taking advantage of the Empire infrastructure to release his music at a rapid pace. In 2019, Money Man dropped his 25-track debut studio album, Paranoia, which climbed all the way to the top 40 of the Billboard 200. Now, today, Money Man, he's more popular than ever. He's got nearly 1 million subscribers over on YouTube with over 782 million lifetime views. And sites like Social Blade estimate he earns anywhere from about 200000 to $3 million a year from that YouTube channel alone. Over on Spotify, he's got 6.5 million monthly listeners and his tribute song to Kobe Bryant 24 featuring Lil Baby, well, that alone has been streamed over 190 million times. Now, Spotify, they typically pay out around 3,500 per million streams, which means that Money Man, well, he's earning around $686,000 in profit off of that one track alone. Now, of course, since it's a feature, he's likely splitting half of that with a little baby, but here's where it pays to stay independent, because besides paying off his co-star, well, Money Man, he gets to pocket the rest of that cash himself. Whereas most musicians, well, they at least have to share 10% with their labels. At the end of the day, the main way that Money Man differs from most other rappers is how he looks at his industry. Now, he doesn't plan on being a rapper forever. Instead, he looks at his music career as a doorway to becoming a billionaire. A way for him to meet new people to do business with, like say, opening up his own marijuana grow up. Yeah, he did this as well. Too many people with crazy strains. I got like five strains coming with turtle pie. Um, so I'ma have some, but I ain't really seen too many. I ain't really smoked too many people's strains. I know a, a, a year or two ago, I was smoking a Chief Keef strain and it was burning too. Now to be perfectly honest with you guys, well, there isn't a lot of information out there about Money Man's weed business. Now, considering that cannabis is still only illegal in around 19 states, well, maybe he's keeping his details on the down low, just in case. But uh, he's definitely uh, one who brings it up a lot. So I'm sure he's proud of it. What I can tell you for sure is that Money Man, well, he teamed up with a company known as Turtle Pie to deliver a unique strand, which he dubbed Epidemic. According to sites like ZipRecruiter, well, the average annual salary for a cannabis farmer is around $73,000. Now, cannabis is a volatile market, especially in the States because of the complicated legal loopholes. But anyone who was able to figure out the tricks of the trade and push himself toward the upper limit of what could be made, well, I'm sure it's Money Man. All right, now that we've taken a look at how Money Man makes his bucks and earned his very literal name, well, let's take a gander at how he spends some of it and let's start off with his killer car collection. If you head on over to Money Man's Instagram, the very first post he ever made was of himself sitting atop this eye-popping electric blue Lamborghini Urus, which is worth around, well, 222K. 
Now this whip might seem like other SUVs, but trust me, it's much faster than all the rest. It's also more practical than your average Lamborghini, which is probably why someone as forward thinking as Money Man, well, he chose this model for his purchase. And sure, it has a reputation as being something of a gas guzzler, but when you're making bank like Money Man, do you really think that's something to concern yourself with? I think not. I mean, on top of this Urus, the man also has an entire fleet of Rolls Royces. That's right, I said a fleet. Actually, back in Ireland, I had an uncle, had one of the first Rolls Royce. Didn't get that in the inheritance. Just thought of that now. Gosh, dang. the Beatles were in this car. Anyway, back to Money Man. Now it honestly looks to me like Money Man. He is one of every types of Rolls Royce. I'm seeing a 2021 Don convertible that would cost around 360K on top of a 2021 Ghost worth an estimated 314,000. Sorry if I'm salivating. I'm just, I'm a little peanut butter jealous. Heck, there even looks to be a 343 Wraith sitting in the back right next to a $335,000 Cullinan. Cullinan, 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 Cullinan? I think it's Cullinan. Now, does Money Man really own all of these? I mean, it's impossible to say for sure, but he definitely wants us to believe he's capable of doing so. Money Man's car collection is almost as tight as his sense of style. Now, no matter what the occasion, he's always gonna look effortless. Now, take for instance, this long sleeve Dior oblique overshirt worth damn near over 2,000 bucks. Even when he's wearing something a little more practical, like say like a blue long sleeve champion shirt worth around 40 bucks that you could pick up at like your local Walmart, will he still make sure to highlight the most expensive thing in the camera frame, a stunning Louis Vuitton monogram prism. Uh, and that's worth like $8,000, for real. Finally, he's also got some spectacular chains, not the least of which is one from Jewelry Unlimited that more or less sums up Money Man's lifestyle in just two words. Since that baby was a custom made piece, well, I don't have an exact money on how much Money Man would have thrown down for it, but you can bet your ass it was at least a five figure deal if not more. All right, guys, I think the phrase big money is about as good as a place as any to end this rich life of money, man. Be sure to let us know what you guys think of his lifestyle in the comments down below. Also, if there's anyone else you guys wanna see us profile here on the channel, be sure to let us know who to do. Who'd we miss out on? Who's the next big star? Of course, you gotta keep us tuned in, or we used to keep tuned in, keep us, what? Anyway, I've said too much. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop. Okay, bye. It was an awkward ending. I, I don't host every day. I'm a little rusty. See you in another video. Boom!